Welcome everybody to A Mouse on the Table. I'm Rosemary and today I will teach you how to make a small rose with a tomato peel, which is a great way to decorate your buffet or even single dishes when you have guests. What you need, and it's very important, is a very firm and ripe tomato because those characteristics definitely make it easier to peel. Then you will need a small knife with an even blade. I myself in this case use a bird's beak knife, but that's really not necessary. You can also simply use the knife you regularly cook with which satisfies the requirements. We will begin from the bottom part of the tomato by making a cut just like this. Then we will proceed to peel just as you would normally do with an apple by peeling a spiral shape peel. It's extremely important to try peeling with the same force and depth. Do not force the knife in the pulp too much. The better you do this task, the more regular and refined your rose will be. Then try to proceed as delicately as you can, trying not to break your spiral. If by chance it breaks and this happens, sometimes it's anyhow possible to form the rose, but unfortunately most of the time you must start over again with a new tomato. Now we have finished. The rest of the tomato you can cut and use in a salad, or use it also to cook. Today we will be using it to create our caprese. Now, how to create the rose. Some people begin from the bottom, from the extremity of the rose. For me, it's easier to try to follow the natural shape of the peel itself. I will begin with this extremity by folding the peel just like this, okay? When I have created this sort of triangle, I must start working. You have to fold the pulp side of the peel over itself, try not to press too hard, or there is a chance it will break. So always leave some space in order for the rose to have a softer look. Then, when you arrive at the end of the peel, you can use the part as the base for your own rose. If you wish and prefer, tighten or soften the shape of the rose as desired. This is just about the perfect result. Now let's leave the rose here. Like I had anticipated, let's use our tomato to create our caprese. Start by cutting it, then we will alternate the slices of mozzarella. Proceed to slice the mozzarella as well, just the same as you did with your tomatoes. Okay, I have finished. Now take your plate and place one slice after the other. One tomato, one mozzarella, one tomato, one mozzarella, and so on. After you have finished composing the slices and your caprese, Take the rose and put it on one side of your plate. Then, take two leaves of basil and put them on each side of your rose. For the caprese, the ideal herb is just basil, plus, visually it's the best color for this particular dish. 
You can even prepare the rows a few days in advance. For example, this rose I prepared four days ago and then put it in the refrigerator. If you want, you can also make another rose and place it on the other side of the plate, therefore presenting it even better visually. Then put some salt and oil, a condiment which you can even prepare beforehand. Then if you would like, you can also add pepper and oregano. There, now you definitely have prepared a different and unique type of caprese. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask us. See you for our next tutorial with a mouse on the table. Ciao ciao from Rosemary.